Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Before we get started, I just want to take the time to invite some of my friends. I'm going to be talking to the married folks today. I got something that I want to share with you guys, and I just need to get it off my chest real quick. So I'm just going to be before you really fast. I'm actually... I am actually currently in Charlotte, North Carolina. I am all dolled up, as you can see, because I have a mental health gala that I will be attending today or this evening. But I wanted to hop on here really quickly before I headed out and finish getting dressed for you all, because everything that I'm about to talk about is relevant. It's not always popular, but it is relevant and necessary. And based on my previous post today about some things. I think I just want to chat with y'all today. So I am on Facebook Live. I am on Instagram at the same time. So if y'all see me looking back and forth, that's why. Hey, Tony, thank you for joining me. And so I wanted to talk to you guys today. I woke up this morning. Like I said, I'm in Charlotte, North Carolina. I woke up this morning and there was nothing but the news coverage as far as the royal wedding that was on. And so that really prompted me to kind of just start thinking about some things. And I realized that the royal wedding is amazing. Once again, full disclaimer, I'm all here for the melanin, for the love, for the wedding, for everything. I'm here for that. But I'm seeing things from a different perspective. And I wanted to shed some light on some things that people don't really want to talk about. And so people have been telling me, just save that for tomorrow. You rain in on, you know, their parade. You up here talking about stuff that's not relevant for today. Let's just be happy. But when you're called to something, when you are giving a mission, and when your life's mission is to make sure that people are having healthy, long-lasting relationships, you don't have days off. <laughs> your opinion may not be popular, but at the same day, you don't have days off. And so if your child was going through some type of chemotherapy because they had you know, a massive tumor and a cancer or something like that, you're not going to tell the doctor, oh, don't talk about that today. Today's a good day. Um, let's not give them treatment today. No. When you see an issue, when you see a need, you speak on it. And so I wanted to talk to the married folks today. And so I have, based on the royal wedding and everything that's been happening, it really shed some light on the things that in the United States we glamorize. Oh, goodness, we glamorize weddings. And weddings are beautiful. I'm all here for it. Trust and believe that people are in healthy, long-lasting relationships and they get married and it's beautiful. I'm here for the wedding. Trust me, I love them. I cry, all of that. But we live in a society where we put too much emphasis on the wedding, you guys. We put more emphasis on the wedding than we do on the marriage. And so it's beautiful, it's great, and all of that stuff. But what happens after you say, I do? What happens after the wedding day is over and you go to the altar? The altar is done. All your family and friends are done. What are you putting into the marriage to make sure that you are having a healthy marriage that's going to last till death do us part? And that's what I focus on, right? That's what I want people to understand and to know that it's important to focus on your marriage and not just the wedding. And so we have things that glamorize weddings in the United States, right? We have TV shows called 90 Day Fiance and Say Yes to the Dress that just focuses on the wedding part, right? Just getting to the altar, but nobody's talking about what we need in order to stay married. And so if you think about it this way, I talk about this all the time, that the divorce rate is high. It's dipping down just a little bit, but it's extremely high. And every 36 seconds in the United States, someone is getting a divorce. Yes, every 36 seconds in the United States, someone is getting a divorce. So that means just this last four minutes, I don't even know how many people didn't sign divorce papers. And so we have to look at why this is happening, because when you think about it, this isn't just like a, a, a male, female, bride and groom issue. This is a larger issue on a larger scale, because when divorce happens, when people are breaking up, that means families are breaking up. When families are breaking up, that means children are going without a two-parent home. And you know what that means? To be real and to be honest with you guys, that means mommy and daddy issues occur. When they go unchecked, mommy and daddy issues occur. When mommy and daddy issues occur and they're not developed, people have hard times 
And I mean hard times trying to develop and maintain healthy relationships, which also goes back to the point of, yeah, you might get married, but you don't know what to do to make sure that that laugh and that cycle starts all over again. So it's bigger than the royal wedding. It's bigger than, you know, two people just not making it work. This is generational that we have to break. We have to stop. We have too many single parent homes out here. And so I learned, and this is, and I'm just, y'all know me, I'm an I'm not some enthusiast, right? Like, I didn't even introduce myself. My name is Keandra Jackson. Just for people who don't know who I am, I am known as America's number one relationship therapist. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist in the state of California. So I'm not just talking fluff. This isn't just something that I just want to get some, you know, some likes and some views on. Like, we're not doing that. This is like some heartfelt stuff. Like, I'm in the trenches every single day. <laughs> every single day with couples, right? helping them save their relationship and save their marriage, right? Which is, it's not one of the easiest things to do, but this is what the work that God has called me to. And so if you think about it this way, there's always three types of relationships and marriages out there. That's relationships and marriages that are dying, relationships and marriages that are just surviving, and relationships and marriages that are thriving. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? Let's go back to dying. Dying means it is dead, boo-boo. You have no more resources in your marriage. Y'all not communicating. Your relationship is dead. You probably one of the statistics that I just mentioned for as far as every 36 seconds. You probably are going that route, unfortunately. And then you have those people that are in that middle stage that are just surviving, barely getting through. It's just like we're putting up with each other. We got these kids. We're struggling, but we're making it work. And then you have that thriving camp where there's people who are intentionally investing in their relationship and in their marriage and understanding that this isn't just some, you know, walk in the park part, but they stay with their sleeves rolled up, making sure that they're intentional about making sure that their partner is loved and wanted and they have good communication and no money issues and there's no infidelity, all of those things. And so I researched the top three things that why people get divorced or why relationships end. And I always talk about this. It's money, it's sex or infidelity, and it's also poor communication, right? And so if these three things are on the table at all times, right, these are the three areas that we need to stay on top of, period, right? So we need to have conversations about why are we getting the divorce when these coins are not together? Goes back to spending habits, financial goals that you set, Thoughts and ideas about money in general that you have picked up from childhood, those are what's on the table here. And then you need to talk about sex. People are getting divorced because of infidelity. Talk about your wants, your needs, your desires, what you expect your mate to do in the bed, because if that's not on the table, if you're not having a conversation regularly about that, if you're not communicating effectively about that, there's another man or a woman who's going to step into that role and fulfill your partner's needs, unfortunately, and that's when infidelity comes into place. And then you have poor communication, right? And that's just people not communicating effectively, period. Not listening, not understanding nonverbal cues, not doing any of the stuff that they're supposed to do. Hey, you guys. Hey, um, Gloria, Sam, we got... Tahiri on the line on Facebook. We got Tony. We got Zania. We got Lamar. We got all. Oh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And so when poor communication slips in the game, whew, I feel like that's more so one of the reasons why couples split because if you can't have a conversation about stuff, then you can't have a conversation about anything. You can't have a conversation? Then that means your money issues is going to be on point. Not on point. Your sex issues is going to be on the table, too, because you can't even have a conversation about these things. So I'm not just talking. I want to provide you guys with a solution. And that's why I'm speaking only to the married folks today. So I have I'm doing my part. Right. There's people out here who got opinions about this and opinions about that, but they're not doing anything to uh, decrease the divorce rate. Oh, we want to see happily married couples all over the world. Blah, 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 fairy tale. But what are you doing? Nothing. So what I did was the other week I got an international call from someone who lives all the way in Africa, actually called my phone thinking that I wasn't going to answer, spoke with him directly. He actually was excited to speak with me. And he was he literally begged me, Keandra, please, I'm so far away. If I lived in the States, I will promise you I will come to see you for counseling. But I can't. I'm super far away. Please create something that I and my spouse can use 
for our marriage. And so I took that to heart, right? I created the hashtag relationship goals course and I solidified that course. And I really allowed myself to give all of my best tools and resources on those three areas that I just discussed. Poor communication, sex, and money issues, right? And so in this course, I'm offering it to you guys for only $47. And I'm doing that today, real talk, because this royal wedding got me all, got my, got my juices flowing. And for the next 48 hours, it's only going to be $47. And people have to understand that when you invest in your relationship and your marriage on the front end, <laughs> you don't have to go and do all of this repair work, right? So there's maintenance versus repair. Maintenance is a lot cheaper than repair. <laughs> Maintenance is purchasing that $47 course, making sure your relationship, your marriage is up on point, having them little tweaks and the little changes and doing those little areas that you know you need to make some improvements in versus repair. Repair is going to couples therapy and paying me thousands of dollars <laughs> to repair your relationship and your marriage, right? The average marriage and, excuse me, the average divorce in the United States costs anywhere between $10,000 and $20,000. Yeah, I would rather pay $47 for a course <laughs> than to pay twenty dollars in divorce. We need to think about these things that's on the table. So I am going to offer this link. This is part of my solution to this problem, offering my course to you guys. The course includes a whole bunch of videos, six videos, with um, information about money issues, how to combat that, how to have these conversations about sex and infidelity, love languages, poor communication. It includes three worksheets. It includes my ebook. It's jam packed with bonuses. It includes my ebook, The Art of Healthy Relationship. It also includes my action plan and my do's and don'ts of effective communication. And you have access to one-on-one -on -one consultation calls with me, just for $47. I'm only doing this for 48 hours, so share this with your friends, share this with your network, um, because there's somebody who needs to hear this message. Again, there's people in the comments right now just going off, talking about stuff that's not even relevant. <laughs> And I'm like, look, I do what I need to do because this is the work that God has called me to do. I don't get days off, right? Somebody is counting on me. Somebody is listening to me right now saying, Keandra, this is the solution that I needed for my relationship and for my marriage. I can guarantee as soon as I hop off of here, somebody, and I do mean somebody, is going to be like all in my inbox. Like, you know what, Keandra? It was because of you and your course. And it was because of you and your videos that gave me some resources. So you guys have to think about these things. Think bigger. <laughs> think bigger on a grand scale. Like I said, no shade to the royal wedding. I'm here for the wedding, here for the love, here for the melanin, here for the history, all of that stuff. But you have to understand that we need to change things, okay? Because you don't want your kids growing up in a single parent home. <laughs> and you know why you don't because it's going to have lasting effects i'm that girl i know what it's like to grow up in a single parent home and to have my dad be verbally and physically abusive to my mom putting hands on her i know what it's like to eat the same meal for breakfast lunch and dinner every single night i know all of these things so i'm not just talking from just blah 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 honey i've experienced it so i know what these top three relationship killers that i mentioned i know the damage that it can do in a relationship i know what it can do to a family i know that i had daddy issues growing up that i had to work through in therapy and counseling in order for me to make sure that i'm having healthy relationships moving forward. I understand all of that, but think about all the other kids who are growing up, who are seeing things that are not appropriate, who are seeing things, who are not getting the same message, and we creating these generational cycles. We got to break that stuff, y'all. So I'm about to hop off of here because I need to finish getting dressed. You see this makeup? <laughs> yeah, she's getting it together. Just wait till you see this custom-made dress that I got. Yes, it's going to be popping for this mental health gala. But I'm about to hop off here. I am going to put the link inside of the comments for you guys if you're on instagram you can go to the link in my bio to check it out and please share this information with somebody i'm not up here just trying to make money i'm trying to change the game y'all just don't understand i'm in the trenches on a daily helping people grinding right so y'all looking at this fairy tale old news coverage type stuff but i'm in the trenches daily <laughs> that's what really matters 
in the trenches daily with people, giving them tools and resources and helping them recover from infidelity and trust issues and communicate. Oh, trust me. So once again, I'm out. I'm known as the number one relationship therapist. I am in Charlotte right now, but I will be heading home tomorrow. So you guys have a wonderful day. Please share this like comment and once again i will be posting the link to that hashtag relationship goals course for you guys to check it out and to share it with your network you guys have a good afternoon and be blessed